here. Uh, we have a, a potter on stage, a ceramic artist. This is Vin Aurora. And we have brought all his gear. It's pretty cool. Um, and we paired him with playwright Alex Ferguson. He's a theater artist slash playwright. Enjoy. Easy, easy. Just a uh, trim today, thanks. How's it going? Greetings, greetings, my friend Galerius. I am most happy to be here on this blessed afternoon. No, 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 no. Just the scalp massage, please. Oh, that is most wonderful. I am appreciating your fingers on my scalp. Yes, the circular motion. Putting your fingers on my scalp, go deeper. Don't be afraid. My head is your dough. Need me. <laughs> Putting your fingers on my scalp. Kamal, if you never get a haircut, what do you come in here for? But for the conversation, my friend. May God bless you with spiritual dividends. Kamal. I want to ask you something. Of course, a wise man has more questions than answers. Please ask. Who made us, Kamal? Who made you and me? But of course, God has made us, Galerios. There's no God, Kamal. Why would you say such a thing, my friend? Do you think you know me? Do I know you? Well, we have known each other a very long time. And I was at your wedding, and you were at my wedding, and all so many things. Yes, my friend, I think I know you very well. You think so? I feel empty inside. You're feeling depressed? No. I feel empty inside. And if you knew me like you say you know me, you would know that. But you don't. You don't know my inside. You just know me from the outside. Can you see my inside? No. 
It doesn't matter what angle you look at me from, you can't see my inside. It's all outside to you. You just keep imagining you know my inside. What it is you're saying, Galerius? I'm saying there's nothing on the inside of me. I'm empty. There is no way you can be knowing this. Of course I can. I'm the only one of us who can know it. I'm me. What makes you think you can see what's inside of you any better than I? Because I'm inside of me. If you're empty on the inside, then all of you is on the outside too. <laughs> you cannot see the inside of yourself any better than me. You don't know yourself at all. That does not mean there is nothing in there. You simply must look more closely. The unexamined life is not worth living. The empty life is not worth examining. <laughs> Hello, Galerius. Hello, Kamal. Hey, Andy. Andy, my friend, how are you? I'm well, I'm well. How about you, Galerius? You're not looking well at all. He is feeling depressed. Depressed, Kamal, is a psychological condition. I'm suffering from a, uh, what do you call it, a, a metaphysical crisis. Oh, dear me, that sounds serious. He is saying he is feeling empty inside. Tell me, Andy, do you believe in souls? Does the soul exist? Oh, I see, I see. Well, Galerius, I'm afraid it's impossible to prove its existence one way or the other. You can't exactly open yourself up and look inside for a soul. By the time you'd finished slicing up the guts to find it, you'd be dead. <laughs> Lovely. It's rather like the paradox of Schrodinger's cat. The what? Schrodinger's cat. It's a thought experiment from quantum physics. Inside a steel box is a cat, a Geiger counter, and poison. The poison inside, the poison is inside a glass tube. The Geiger counter contains a small amount of radioactive material. In the course of an hour, one of the atoms in the Geiger counter may decay and, through a relay system, shatter the glass tube of poison and kill the cat. But equally, the atom might not decay and the cat might remain alive. You'd never know unless you opened the box. And until you did that, you could say the cat is both alive and dead. But why wouldn't one not simply open the box and look inside? Well, if your body is the box, you'd kill yourself in the process. But your body is not the box. No, that's not a very good analogy. <laughs> no, I, I don't suppose it is. It doesn't really explain anything. No, I don't suppose it does, really. Well, I'm off. Team bowling match tonight. Sorry I wasn't able to help. Don't worry, Galerius. Everything happens for a reason, says you. Cheerio. He loves that bowling. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Andy? I still can't believe it. It's the kind of thing that shakes you to your core. I can't get over it. I'm shaken, Kamel. Utterly shaken. I want to get home to the wife and kids. Yes, I will do the same. You want me to drive you? No, the walk will do me good. It's a fresh night. All right, you take care. Jesus, I still can't believe it. Go be with your wife, Galerius. Yeah. is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs>